The New York Stock Exchange will reopen for regular trading Wednesday after being shut down for two days because of Hurricane Sandy. The exchange said in a statement Tuesday that its building and trading floor are fully operational. Tuesday marks the first time since 1888 that the NYSE remained closed for two consecutive days due to weather. The last time was due to a massive blizzard. Sections of Manhattan remain inundated with water and power is shut off to thousands of people and businesses. Earlier, U.S. stock exchanges thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Had been testing all electronic trading systems in case they couldn't reopen Wednesday. The goal was to resume trading as soon as possible in the wake of Hurricane Sandy because mutual fund portfolios are balanced and futures and options contracts worth billions of dollars are settled on the last trading day every month. The New York Stock Exchange said contingency plans, such as all electronic trading, were being tested as a safety measure. If they had been implemented, the opening and closing auctions would have been handled by the electronic NYSE ARCAT system. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. It has been tested in the past but has never been used to completely replace trading on the floor of the NYSE. On Tuesday, stock futures trading continued as it did Monday, although volume was light. Futures were modestly lower for the Dow Jones Industrial Average, the Standard & Poor's 500 Index and the NASDAQ Composite Index. Futures trading ended at 9.15 a.m. at Dozens of companies have postponed earnings reports this week because of the storm, but Ford Motor on Tuesday released results for the third quarter that topped Wall Street expectations. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Global markets rebounded Tuesday, though trading was subdued in the wake of the storm. In Europe, the FTSE 100 index of leading British shares ended up 1% at 5,849.90 while Germany's DAX 30 closed up 1.1% to 7,284.40. The CAC 40 in France finished up 1.5% at 3,459.44. Earlier in Asia, trading was mixed. Japan's Nikkei 225 index fell 1% to close at 8,841.98. South Korea's Kospi index rose 0.4% to 1,899.58 but Hong Kong's Hang Seng Index fell 0.4% to 21,428.58. Benchmarks in mainland China also rose. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Crude oil prices rose 34 cents to $85.88 Tuesday in electronic trading on the New York Mercantile Exchange.